It's one of the most venomous snakes in the world, and at the same time, the longest venomous snake. Her Majesty, the King Cobra. Kneel before her and avoid eye contact with her, as there is not any other more dangerous creature in Mother Earth's nature. In this video, I will tell you the most interesting details about King Cobras, and the most interesting part, why King Cobras hate other snakes. Stay tuned and find out. King Cobra's venom is maybe not the most potent among the venomous snakes, but it is strong enough to kill an elephant. The neurotoxin that is contained in it can kill up to 20 people at once. It affects the respiratory centers in the brain, causing respiratory arrest and cardiac failure. Even though there are many deaths due to King Cobra bites, these creatures are known as shy and will avoid humans whenever it is possible. Her Majesty lives in the rainforests and plains of India, southern China, and Southeast Asia. The main thing on their menu is lizards, eggs from other animals, and small mammals. But they also eat other snakes, regardless of whether venomous or non-venomous. This is why they are known as cannibal creatures. One other interesting detail is that king cobras are the only snakes in the world that build nests for their eggs, and they guard them with all their strength and power until the little ones come out. But what makes these cobras kings is not their size. They can grow up to 10 to 12 feet or 3 to 3.6 meters, or their deadliest bite. After all, they don't feed on humans or elephants. These snakes bite when needed, and they eat other deadly snakes, such as crates or other cobras. The king cobra can subdue its dinner without suffering from any venomous counterattack. The largest king cobra ever found was over 18 feet long. The king cobras are maybe the smartest snakes in the world. They change their hunting strategy based on the specific prey and their current circumstances. These dangerous creatures can adapt to repeated situations. One of the possibilities why one king cobra snake eats another king cobra snake is because she is gravid or unwilling to mate. In this case, the male king cobra has a lot to gain rather than lose, and that's why he will eat her. Some scientists say that by doing this, cobras control the population by themselves. However, there is something strange in Cobra's behavior that can make you hit that like button below the video. <laughs> Just kidding. The King Cobra behavior is something that cannot be explained. The snake species that Cobras eat are mostly some larger, harmless species, such as Asian rat snakes, and also some pythons up to three meters long. But they won't mind dining another venomous Indian Cobra or another smaller King Cobra. Researchers and scientists had difficulties understanding why a male cobra killed and ate a female of his kind in the rainforest research station in Karnataka. The event that took place in April 2008 left them with wide open mouths. The first guess was the one I mentioned before, that the female didn't want to mate with the male. But one of the researchers gave another theory. Maybe in April, when the mating season is almost over, the urgency to find a meal after the starvation from the winter makes it more important to eat than to mate. Janaki Lennon, a filmmaker who was researching cannibalism in snakes, says that this phenomenon is more common than we thought. According to her, more than a hundred snake species turn on their kind. For example, there are six species of cobras in Africa, and five of them are cannibals. In the case of king cobras, Researchers realized that in all recorded cases, the ones eating and being eaten are males. According to some researchers, this behavior often is a result of a male fight, and this is how the winner is dealing with the competition once and for all. The scientists tried to find out why king cobras eat other snakes, or more precisely, why they eat their kind. And nothing, not a clue. It seems that king cobras will eat anything that can be eaten and can't run off their sharp and venomous bite. They can eat even bigger snakes from themselves. How do they do this? Easily, by neutralizing them and then swallowing them. The interesting part is that nobody can be safe from them. 
They can attack prey on the ground, underground, and underwater. Sounds like the worst nightmare in the world. A venomous snake is immune to other venomous snakes and can eat any of them. Killing the male rival is nothing new. Many male mammals do the same thing, but they don't go after the females. This is the biggest thing that makes confusion when it is up to the king cobras. Researchers were witness to an event where a male king cobra eats a female that is trying to lay her eggs. According to the researcher Janaki Lennon, maybe by swallowing the female herself, the eggs and all, the male king cobra takes care of the problem. And that's how he destroys the offspring of the rivals. This is how the hungry male doesn't have to chase and hunt down every little hatchling. While the female king cobras are the only snakes in the world that build a nest, the males are the only ones that hunt down egg-laden females. Graham Alexander from the University of Witwatersrand, South Africa would like you to smash that subscribe button and hit that notification bell below the video. <laughs> Got it twice. In all seriousness, Graham, who is one of the researchers of the African Cobra study, is on the same page as his Asian and European colleagues. Quote, I think that it may be in the interests of a male to eat a female if there is little chance of him breeding with her. So, this could be because she is gravid or is unwilling to mate, he said. So, it is hard to explain the cannibalism between King Cobra snakes. They are not spread all around the world, and that's one of the difficulties to observe their behavior. Also, the King Cobras are endangered. The International Union for Conservation of Nature has listed these snakes as vulnerable to extinction. Of course, humans are their biggest enemy. But there is one other creature that terrifies them. It's the mongoose, the deadliest opponent that wins most of the battles with every cobra snake. During the year, the mongoose evolves and gains acetylcholine receptors that make him immune to the venom. Also, this creature has thick fur, which together with the speed of his legs, makes him able to fight these deadly predators. However, the mongoose rarely attacks a king cobra, except when they have to. Another one that can easily deal with these deadly vipers is the python. This non-venomous snake can crush the cobra in a meantime. Their battles are decided by speed. If the king cobra manages to bite his opponent by the head, it's a guarantee to die. But the python can also immediately tackle the cobra just by squeezing it. The biggest enemy, however, for the king cobras are the people and the deforestation process. As I said, these snakes prefer to live where there are a lot of trees, and when the trees start to disappear, the king cobras start to look for another home. And guess where they are looking for a new home? To people. Even though we are not on their menu, many times a human is bitten by these snakes, and there are many deaths per year as a result of a king cobra's bite. In favor of the fact that these snakes are real killing machines, the thing is that king cobras can eat another snake even soon after they hatch from their eggs. The researchers also witnessed a case where a female king cobra eats a male king cobra, but this is a very rare occurrence. The king cobra may be on top of the list of cannibal snakes, but they are not the only ones that eat other snakes. On this list, I can mention the Musarana snake, the common king snake, the king brown snake, and eastern indigo snake. There are many other snake species to which cannibalism is not a new thing, but only the king cobras are specialized for this. It's best for you if you stay away from any of them. See you in the next video.